the That's excuse. That's not an excuse. Your child That's dying reality. is an excuse. After being in labor room posting all these then, months, you would think it's an excuse, <laughs> bro. I have ended. All you. I'm saying That's is, it. this is where the podcast is. Hey, bro. Hi guys, welcome back to the podcast. We have Mr. Fahim Rashid here. He's going to talk about back. his knee rank again, or about how he has saved the medical world by <laughs> I don't know being good looking. Go on, man. Man, I miss doing this. Um, it's been like over a month since I shot an episode. I think when I was gone, I really, I really miss talking to you guys and all of you guys. And man, I'm sad. Life's <laughs> been, life's been hard lately. I have a couple things to rant about. Can I rant about it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Go, on. Please, go on. So yeah. college was really hectic, right? I had one month labor room posting. Uh, two weeks day shift, two weeks night shift, no Sundays off, twelve hour shifts, and it broke me. Okay, but I got through it. I survived twenty eight days. Just when I thought life couldn't get any worse, I got pancreatitis again, a relapse, and I was back in the hospital. And then, but Asta was just a care of you. Know? sponsor <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but uh, when you say relapse, is, it's, isn't it like a lifelong thing now? He's a, he's I mean, they haven't diagnosed it to be chronic. So I had one episode four months back. Um, they did my blood work again when I got it. And everything was normal. Like the usual causes, except the... What are the usual causes? <laughs> hypercalcemia, hypertriglycerides. <laughs> uh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> you know. Hyper what? Yeah. <laughs> the usual. But all, everything else was normal, bro. What? My, my e- liver. Are those names e- of alcohol? Eating no, junk no, no. food. What are these? What are bro alcohol? Alcohol? <laughs> okay, eating junk food. Sure, that must have been a factor. But Al- isn't it genetic also? Yeah. So my dad has it. So I'm just blaming my dad now. Uh, for passing this on to me. Well, first you blamed him for sneakers. Now you blamed him for... Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, good. about that sneaker thing. So, <laughs> one of my dad's um, junior dog, like junior colleagues, he saw the reel. Yeah. And then he sent it to my dad. And my dad was really upset. He texted me. He was like, did I ever let you down? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. So cute. You got us 400k. See, this is damn guys, cute. Guys, for context, this is the, uh, this is the episode where Faiz uh, said talk- that he had a terrible childhood because his dad bought him one no, pair uh, of sneakers. Uh, uh, that's yeah, what he said. <laughs> middle class. <laughs> yeah, middle class guy who has Nike t bastards. <laughs> okay, but go back to your yeah, busy work day. No, you but, clearly don't ascribe to Narayan Murthy 70 hour work week to you. Oh shit, yes. But you know, before that, I have, one more, I have one more gripe to address. So while I was gone, while I was busy saving lives, you know, looking after pregnant women, Sharanai <laughs> decides to replace me like that. <laughs> okay. First, he replaces me with someone I introduced him to, Nisu. <laughs> Okay, fine. I didn't have cancer twice. But still, how can you just replace me yeah, like that? Twice, bro. It's worse, keep right? It's worse. Keep your head up. No, and what really upset me is when I when I see texts like uh, Nisu will send me a screenshot and Sharon saying, oh, we're both the same. I was like, bro, you used to tell me this like three years ago when we were in the talking stage, when we were in the honeymoon stage. He's never said this to me. Does yeah. that? Because, because brother, you are not alike, yeah, bro. We are not alike. We're nothing you alike. funny watch anime you were. I like how y'all feel so much pain when it happens to you guys. But when you guys do this to women in your life, it doesn't matter so much, does it? What? Does it do what? Like replace women in your yeah, life? Yeah, just... Women okay, coffee cup, uh, coffee leaving cup. women aside. <laughs> <laughs> then he starts doing... Young person shit with Nisu. Young person shit was our thing. Okay. What it was me taking shit? my dad to like the hip stuff. And then he's, go, he's, he's going with Nisu to like Hakuna. Listen, get a out at 2 this later. No, and he's, he's drinking know. tea with him. And then forget this. Do you he gets bored of Nisu and he replaces Nisu <laughs> with someone else. And now Nisu and I are both complaining. <laughs> <laughs> he play, else he's going Neeraj. to play cricket with Neeraj. Ne- Neeraj is uh, Lamin Yamal. Yeah. He, walked, he walked like some 10 kilometers How with can Neeraj. you walk with him? Neeraj is this humidity guy. Neeraj is a fun guy man He, calls he is me. not He has not made me laugh one time <laughs> He calls me every afternoon Hey man what are you doing? Fucking I didn't recommend bunch, of, bunch of jobless fuckers W-Y-D <laughs> <laughs> Okay speaking of jobless Narayana Murthy Yeah Apparently Narayana he's uh, This podcast is just It's a radio station by Fahim <laughs> The audience will love yeah, it Okay audience will love what, do you, what do you guys What do you guys think about his statements? Honestly What, what are his statements? What are okay. his statements? Okay. Is, so, is this a fuckwit yeah, yeah. who you guys said no. Oh Infosys Yeah and I was like, so this is like a full circle moment <laughs> No 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 One sec the, One sec let's, let's first talk about what he said yeah. Okay so okay. he okay. said The, oh, okay. the work good. culture here Is not good enough I am paraphrasing a bit yeah, but you are the, paraphrasing a lot. He didn't say that. He said the work culture is. He subpar. said the productivity, the work the, productivity in India. What's is very the low. difference? That's there the is same a thing. big difference in being productive in the work. Okay, culture. guys, complain about Shamli again in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, complain about being right. Okay. Okay, go for it then. Go no, that's it. He said the work productivity in India is not at par with what it should be, and the youth in India should strive to work seventy hours a week. That's how many hours a day? 
uh, if you Ten do hours seven a day for seven days, days or, or 12 hours, 12 hours. Too many hours. <laughs> 12 hours for a 6 day work week and 10 hours for a 7 day work week like 10 hours every day for the rest of the day 12 hours for 6 days is going to work monday to saturday 8 am to 8 pm and that is the life of an influencer you're always at work <laughs> <laughs> honestly honestly you wake up you're shooting you go to sleep But you're shooting you know i mean when you think about it I don't think th- just because he's voiced it doesn't mean he's like wrong right yeah. like at the uh, end of the day look at the number of people we have in this country look at the competition if you aren't putting in that extra hour someone will replace Mate, you who's like against this I am against this because I, I feel like I, I feel it. like there is something to be said about efficiency I feel like uh, it's not a, I'm 100% talking about efficiently working but working a lo- long day that's what I don't think it's humanly possible to be at 100% efficiency if you're working with no rest 10 hours a day every day for 7 days i don't think that's like human even the best writers they write like it's scientifically proven that your maximum period of concentration that you can spend in a day is 3 hours 3 hours of like that's like you've spent like a warm up in getting into it and then 3 hours you're like fully focused like after that zone, yeah, yeah. yeah after that it's like diminishing returns So I said the 4 hour work week 4 day work week 4 hour work week which, hours, yeah. whichever the fuck 4 hour work, work, work week is great <laughs> yeah that's great <laughs> on a monday morning you wake up work, work no. for 4 hours and then you're done <laughs> but like for example you've spoken about this like uh, people are like wake up at 5 am and do something and you were like yeah no, see, no, I, I agree 5 am club is no, completely i agree different. i agree with narayana murthy in the sense that to achieve anything in life and like i am all for Oh, fuck i get cancelled again i'm all for mental health and all that but if you want to be someone in life you have to work your ass off and at, at times you have to you're competing with like the whole world so like working 70 hours a week i don't think is a big deal i mean you will have like you said diminishing marginal returns after a point of time but you you have to grind that out because like a, a brilliant person can work 3 hours but maybe there are other people who who have to wait, work way longer to achieve that target but like i wouldn't be able to work in a company like that i wouldn't be able to go to yeah, that no, company for, for yourself no 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 for if you're doing yeah. if you're in a profession that you really enjoy ah yeah then obviously you won't mind it but my thing is but that most people are not in a profession like that now again whose fault is that really narayana murthy's no see my <laughs> gripe is that it comes from him who does who is a corporate leader and what he specifically said he didn't mention work for yourself or work towards your goals he said the corporate leaders of our country should encourage the youths to work better it came from a, it came from that kind of a pov ultimately in a system like that yeah, even if you work harder you're wants, making the owner yeah, yeah. No, so see, that's why it's any, out of touch no, it's out of touch that's why it's in bad in case. any sort of infrastructure right that you look at see today i have a company i will still have people working for me right now in any structure unless every individual is now starting their own thing you will be in some situation working for someone i've been in a firm in a law firm where i was working for someone else right but because i enjoyed that profession and i saw personal growth in terms of like career goals etc i didn't mind putting in that hour like whatever i used to i had to punch in by 10:30 latest but i wouldn't leave the office till like 2 am 3 am on most days but i didn't mind that in those initial years because i was really growing in that particular field and well, so there, there is motivation outside of uh, payment right yeah so no like one is growth. saying yeah. yeah no one is saying that the only motivation for you to work should be payment right like there are studies like that i think there was a harvard business uh, review uh, report which says that motivation for both men and women to work s- such long periods compensation doesn't fare in the first two motivators at all it's more like competitiveness in terms of intellectual uh, competitiveness with your colleagues um there's personal motivators like career goal or whatever right compensation in for men was third and for women was fifth oh so if see if you're working for money anyway you have to put in the work you can't expect to be paid a massive package if you're just going to work for like 5 6 hours no one's going to pay you that much unless you're an expert who has such a niche that you're like if you're very few in number that who like who does a particular field of work then maybe yeah as an expert you'll get paid so much but otherwise look at our numbers look at us as a country we're the most populous country like there is no way you're going to get paid if you don't put in the hours it's just as simple as that and when i say put in the work i don't mean work for free or work for peanuts obviously i don't ascribe to 
uh, Infosys's um, fresher package, which is peanuts. It's twenty four thousand a month or something. Yeah, so I think nothing. that's so. As the chairman of that company, it comes from it comes from a place that's out of touch. But you know, there are people who even for will work that much for twenty four thousand because yeah, but you're exploiting so their financial situation. And you're exploiting the high unemployment rates in the country to suit yourself, which is why. But it's that's wrong. what capitalism. That is what like cap. Will... Yes, that is why we should all support socialism. Dulkar <laughs> Salman. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's the thing. When it's capitalism, the primary incentive to what you're talking. Okay, it's great if you love your job, but for the majority of people, especially those who aren't as privileged or come from negative circumstances, their primary incentive is to not end up homeless. Because yeah. if you don't make money, so, you are going to end up homeless. Is he you wrong end- to not want to like? Make a company that has. He's also giving so many people employment at the end of the day, right? Yeah, but I think expecting them to work seventy, encouraging people to work seventy hours for you when you're offering, yeah, the, the, especially when you're running. There's something that feels dirty about yeah, that, like, especially I, when you're. Our careers, it makes sense. Wait for context. Uh, so, like she said about the startup package, their package has gone from three point two lakhs per annum. The starting package has gone from three point two lakhs per annum to three point five lakhs per annum in the last ten years. How much is the that cha- is per month? That's like twenty five yeah. a month. Oh. Yeah, okay, and then, but their chairman's salary has like fifteen x. And the thing is, the company has like new offices in like what forty plus countries, right? So their their valuation has gone up like fifteen times or like twenty times the amount. But the starting package still remains the same. That is why I feel like. See, I don't, I don't want to speak about his business model. Obviously, that's not something I personally. No, but I'm saying this um, applies for most corporate jobs, most most companies. They all make. They all exploit people. Yeah, but you people's. know another thing about corporate jobs is they expect you to sit there from eight a.m. to eight p.m. But like, I think the point you're missing out. Like, kind of agree with Arjun is I don't think they're productive for that many hours. No, bec- so especially what, because they're not working for themselves. See, I think so amongst just, the like, four of us, I have corporate experience more than anyone. So on you're better table. than us. I am better than better than you. <laughs> no, but basically, what I'm saying is when they say your work hours are eight to eight, right? Tomorrow. And I'm talking about specifically law now because again, I I have experience in law plus research. Um, from these two fields, I can tell you that when they say eight to eight, it doesn't mean you have to be there for those whatever those hours are. You will be staffed on projects. Those projects will have deadlines. As long as you're able to provide the deliverables within those deadlines, whether you do it from eight to eight, two to eight, seven to eight, it's up to you. You just can't miss a deadline and. Because technology has advanced so much, like you can work from absolutely anywhere. You can work at whatever time you want because there are online servers which have all your documents, right? So the idea is to be as efficient as possible and to work as many projects as possible because you're incentivized also based on not just how much work, how much time you put in, but how many. Um, matters you close, how many deals you close. No, but right? I'm just saying that because it's seventy right. hours. So that's what that's the point we're all making. Like the time doesn't matter. Yeah, the, but that's what uh, the thing is. The workload is so much. It's not about you being. It's efficiency matters, but the workload is so much that even if you finished whatever your eight hour work amount was supposed to be, you finished in four hours. There will always be one more matter that requires your attention. More so, even though he worded it like that, seventy hours. He was referring more to the amount of work you put in. Instead of rather than See, fixed work, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's supposed to be productivity. It's not just put like I can go and put something in my timesheet, but that timesheet should have something concrete, right? Because at the end of the day, if a client is paying me on an hourly basis or a project to project basis, they want to see what you have done. So if I'm billing someone for eight hours, they want to know in those eight hours what have you done, right? I can't just sit in the office and say I was in the office for okay. eight hours. Uh, m- question then. Uh, I can do this project in eight hours. Hmm. You can do this in four hours. Who should get paid more? Obviously, me. Yeah. So, but that's that what. comes with seniority, right? So, if you're in any environment, of course. The more okay, think about it this way: when you edit, right, the first video you edited versus the video you edit now. If you had to edit the same video today, you would take lesser time, right? Because you're more experienced. <coughs> you know how yeah, to do yeah. certain things but that, better. But I feel like experience and intelligence isn't correlated to your position in a company. Like no, you could a be... lot of times, a lot of times, your intelligence in a particular matter comes with experience. Experience, okay. So, for instance, if I get a document today for a person who's wanting to invest money in a company, versus when I'd gotten it for the first time, there are a lot more things I know now. What to look for? What are the pain points? What are the red flags? What issues I need to bring up? There are some points which are like, okay, I don't mind negotiating on this, but it's okay if it doesn't go my way. But there are pain points where you're like, I will never. 
let go of this particular negotiation aspect right so that comes from experience in the first in your first project you will want to highlight everything on the document because it's new right but with experience you know okay exactly which points these there. are important everything else is fine you can let go of it but that comes only with experience and the more you do the more you'll know and that i'm 100% like that is something i've followed ever since i've started working um but also i feel like these extreme work hours have also come from the fact that a lot of people want that rush in life like Are they fully devoted to one thing? Not just fully devoted. It's like how you do an extreme sport, right? Like why do you go like skydiving? Why do gyms now provide like rock Ex- climbing? Extreme data analyst. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, like why do, why do gyms provide like rock climbing yeah. uh, facilities and stuff now, right? It's because everybody wants that sort of adrenaline yeah. rush, and I feel like at least in my professional space, I feel like being on a matter or a transaction that is worth. 7000 crores gives me so much excitement it's just because there's so many nuances that in my daily life i don't really face those kind of nuances but to think on those lines and to think about okay you know like this ne- this particular aspect in the negotiation is going to take so much time and the research required to win that negotiation it's it just gives me another rush like i haven't felt that anywhere else but i i feel feel like that's very specific to your job and the fact that you liked it the more thing is most desk jobs are fucking boring and no, the I, employers shouldn't expect you to fucking put in 70 hours of work a week but i feel like I'm that's way too much but there's so much competition if you don't do it there will be someone yeah, who does it so it's the system's fucked up and the fact that he said it from the position he's in i think that's fucked up and the way he said he it he just wants to make more money dude. yeah that's fucked up the way he said corporate leaders should encourage young corporate leaders that. can start my day they, sure. sh- they, they shouldn't expect they shouldn't expect if you think about like you. 10 hours of work 8 but hours no. of sleep but I mean, wait, wait. 6 hours left if you were running a company like that would you say that i wouldn't say it in public <laughs> no <laughs> yeah you know what about you yeah you your training no you know what what say that what narayan murthy needs is to be on the blog you know what to say what not no i'll tell you what if he said work for yourself in an ideal environment i would like to structure my day in 8 hours okay so it'll be 8 hours of sleep 8 hours of work and 8 hours to do whatever you want right so it's 24 hours in a day divided by 3 but at the end of the day like i'm in this particular environment there is no scope to live like that like there's absolutely no scope because there's so like i get it he shouldn't have said it on a pu- public platform especially that's a reinforcing it is the problem Yeah but the, the like even though I used to put in those hours and I used to like it I was underpaid as hell okay like absolutely underpaid and like no matter how many like incentives and bonuses you give a person at the end of the financial year like what matters is that fixed salary that's coming in and that was massively under like I was massively underpaid but I didn't mind doing it because it like helped my career prospects it helped me grow um I think I gained a lot more intellectual like prowess by putting in those hours but, but that's what so at that point in your life how old were you so i started my first ever job was straight out of college at 21 okay that was in an mnc it was a multinational company based out of london there the work environment was so different it was a primary research firm so we used to assist like consultants private equities hedge funds we used to assist them on their projects um i was i had a work hour from 9 am till 6 pm and say you stayed back in office repeatedly till 6:30 pm you would get a call from hr which used to sit out of new york and london and they'd ask you are you being forced to stay in office is everything okay <laughs> uh, like to the point where I, so i was very like particular to the at the point age. where you were calling them <laughs> no do, so i was very particular at that age that 6 pm means i will be at the lift at 6 pm and when i stayed back till like 7 o'clock because one project was really active my like my, the the manager of the office asked me is everything okay like you know are things going well at home why do you not want to go back home <laughs> no, and i'm God. like wow <laughs> cut to a year after that i was in this law firm as a paralegal okay so here i'm getting paid a stipend i used to make 15000 rupees a month okay as a stipend i used to be in office from 10:30 in the morning till like 2 to 3 on average so I mean I guess it's like a personal thing also. That's that's what I feel like um like for example some people are good at certain jobs and they they will 
like i don't know it's maybe their bodies are built that way that certain jobs are fit for them like i'm curious uh, do you guys think ronaldo would if he was working at desk do you think he'd be the best desk job worker in the world 100% I, right? like i feel like he yeah. still would be like whatever yeah. he did he would dedicate his life to desk job yeah i feel like his yeah. ambition see yeah. if you want to work cuz you want to put in the work go for it from a, for me it's not even about the workers so in in the labor room not flexing but i was doing 84 hours See, you loved week. it, right? I you hated it, but whatever. <laughs> How many hours? But 84 hours. I was doing 84 hours, but mostly assistive work. So, but the doc, no, wait. The doctors there, even postgraduates, so doctors who've got, cracked the NEET entrance exam, PG, and got into work, do 100, 120 hours a week easily. And they don't even get paid that much. Now, if like the HOD of the department, when I, if I'm working as a PG and the HOD said, Hard. hey, you should like stay and like, because we have a lot of patients, do more work. I wouldn't even take it as badly because it's a government service and ultimately profit isn't the motive there. The fact that he said it from a position that he's in, the company that he's running, when the salary of the chairman has gone up 15 times while the stipend has gone up 30k for the entrance level package, that is what puts me off. If you want to work 70 hours because you want to, fucking go for it. But he shouldn't have said that. That's yeah, yeah. Up. When I used to work at Goldman Sachs in Bangalore, I used to stay up till like 2 o'clock in the office. Shut up, Karan. You never worked at Goldman Sachs. <laughs> Or in <Please>. Bangalore. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like... Okay, maybe he he's, shouldn't he's, have he's, posted. He's a real one. He just came out and said what okay, he felt. Let me just say, Messi wouldn't be the greatest in any other career. Oh, is this a segue? Because he has... Because <laughs> <laughs> he has what? Because he has what? Okay, you what, really would, mild, what, really mild think, what would Messi do if he was not a footballer? <laughs> I feel he'd, like he'd be a stay at home husband. Yeah, he is a great husband, bro. Yeah. Messi is a great husband. I I did like you see the did you see the video where yeah, he's like recording his son <laughs> listening to Ed Sheeran? What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, the, he's playing the guitar, is that what? No, no, no. So he took uh, his sons to the Ed Sheeran concert in the US and then he's rec- like usually how would you record? Like you would if your son is listening Man. to Ed Sheeran, you would record Ed Sheeran and you would record your son, yeah. right? He's just putting on selfie camera and his son is just sinking and he's just staring into the camera. Like, <laughs> no expression, nothing. He's like, he's like an Indian uncle sort of thing. He is probably on the spectrum and there's nothing wrong with that because that's what makes him so good at football. Do you really think he's on the spectrum? I yeah, like 100% the compilations. He, he's the def- bro, have you seen the circus one where someone's playing the drum and he's just <laughs> But I feel no, like he's that, awkward. Do you remember that's, the time when that guy was the journalist who's crying? <laughs> oh laughing. yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> But the point is Messi just won his 8th Ballon d'Or. I think he didn't um he didn't need an extra one but it's the Sorry. icing on the cake. <laughs> one sec. Balu Balu every alarm right. And alarms are ringing. Okay. Yeah, I think he's just cemented his status as the greatest of all time. I mean, he did with the World Cup. This is just the icing on the cake. Sharon, how are you feeling as a Ronaldo <laughs> fan? I I have to say I feel like the Valendor sort of lost steam in okay, 2018 he, 19 he won the FIFA best too bro okay it's fine he won everything yeah that's a when those two award give people just doesn't. give him the award because he's a nice guy people buy into the story of the five five child who came from Argentina Rosario went to Barcelona the game some injections from like a tiny yeah but the thing is the reason see sporting sporting awards should be won because of how good you are at the sport Correct. okay who do you not think how decent you are who as a human being who do you think should have more ballon d'ors messi or ronaldo be 100 honest. don't don't give me that bullshit don't give me that bullshit percent ronaldo how which year should he have won that he did he, uh, the one the year where uh, there was one year 2012 2013 one of those years why iniesta should have won that one no 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 ronaldo why should ronaldo have won that <laughs> and he went to his trophy list huh? he won the league in 2012 okay why did he win this year then Why did Messi win? Yeah, World Messi Cup. won the World Cup, bro. Oh yeah, oh, the the year which was the year which he won and he wasn't supposed to win 2010. Define not 2010, supposed to he, win. 2010 he didn't win the World Cup. Define not 2010, supposed to win. 2010 he didn't win the World Cup. Somebody okay, else won. Who, 2014 he didn't win the World Cup. Somebody who's else had won. a performance where they won the World Cup as the player of the tournament and didn't win the Ballon d'Or as the player of the tournament That's and won the World Cup. Everybody gives no, him player, player of the, the tournament, tournament because he's a you're, nice you're guy. You're saying he wasn't the best player of the World Cup? No, he wasn't. The referee was. What do you think, Shamari? Should man do sporting deserve this guy? Please, sporting awards should be given for how good you are at sports. The reason Who Ronaldo, is better, Messi Ronaldo, or Ronaldo, Ronaldo doesn't win as much because he is like I am good looking, I am rich, I am this, I am that. 
nobody no, not many people like him he is so messy at the other hand doesn't know english he, so there's no way we can hate him <laughs> <laughs> we don't understand what he's saying his subtitles are always wrong <laughs> ronaldo commented laughing emojis on a post that said it was yeah, undeserved he is the like most ronaldo none of his fans take it seriously none of his fans take it seriously he, because he doesn't take it seriously bro you you damn well know he was crying Leave, yeah. making his son do 30 fucking pushups <laughs> messi wanted he was like you are not losing to thiago messi that kid is already overweight yeah <laughs> Go thirty push-ups right now, bro. He was crying his ass off. You know it. No, he was crying for five years back. Now he's not crying because he knows it's a joke. You don't think he was crying when Messi won the World Cup? No, I don't think so. I don't think he expected. Bro, you know they're what, probably what having he? dinner together while you're all fighting. No, they're not. Over what, what rank was he? Who? In the in the I was gonna say six twenty-five meet. <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo. What rank, rank was Ronaldo? Meet. What do you mean rank? Like the like, Ballon d'Or. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't on the list. Year, wasn't he the wasn't list. on the list because he is he plays in Saudi, bro. Bro, but he played in the World Cup also. Yeah, and he was shit in the World yeah, Cup. Yeah. What do you oh, yeah, mean? Fair. He was shit in the World Cup. Yeah, yeah that's because his What daughter died or oh, son died. One of but also, yeah. but also, so there was a, a few months uh, before the World Cup when he, he played United. Shit. He was How quite insane. How can you insane. smile? No, he was benched. How can you smile? This is really no, the first season. He was good. <laughs> The second, second season, I didn't smile. I didn't smile. I smiled. I smiled. I won. I won. I smiled at the excuse. I smiled at the excuse. That's not an excuse. That's reality. That's an excuse. After being in labor room posting all these then, months, you would think it's an excuse, <laughs> bro. I have ended. All I'm saying That's is, it. this is where the podcast is. If, so, if over, Messi over. was a child, he's just making more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't laugh at that. If I did, cut that off. <laughs> <laughs> We're not cutting anything. Baby. I must have thought of something else. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, I, no, his first no, season I, of United I, was good, but I, second season he got benched, see, and he got benched I, again at the World Cup. I think Messi is brilliant. Is the we better watched, player? We have you watched think him play. The better player. We have watched him play. He's brilliant, but he doesn't deserve the Ballon d'Or this year, and he hasn't deserved the Ballon d'Or in the past. Like, who deserves? Who deserves? What do you mean he didn't deserve it? This why, year it's Haaland. Why did sure. Why did Lewandowski deserve it over Messi? Tell me. Lewandowski, Lewandowski doesn't deserve it. Lewandowski, yeah, yeah the in year. In 2021, no. no. So the year Lewandowski was supposed to get it, they cancelled the Ballon d'Or. There was no Ballon d'Or. Oh, that's yeah, okay. That's so sad. Did Messi, why? did Messi message them? Hey, cancel the Ballon d'Or this year. Yeah, because everybody likes him. He's it's a nice not like Messi has won a before. Dude. It's yeah, not like Messi has won before. It's Already not a bad dog. It's a nice him. personality. Dude see, the, okay, the, but see, people confused. Kiran, maybe Ronaldo should have a better personality. No. <laughs> <laughs> Women be like. Well, that. <laughs> well, that ship has sailed long back. <laughs> like, no, like I, I, I feel like there is something to be said about. Uh, the fact that the world today has, is so media oriented that everything requires something to maintain relevance. If the Ballon d'Or's way of doing that is by giving Messi like five awards in one go, yeah, that makes sense. Like I, I'm not, I just don't see it as a legitimate uh, thing of like, okay, this is this okay. means that the player yeah, is the best. Right yeah. Let, let me be honest. Basically. I don't think Messi deserves. I don't think Messi. Or, like if you go by the definition, the best player of the year, I don't think Messi. Was think I would think it was Mbappe. Not even Haaland is so ass. They played a goal compilation of his fifty-two <laughs> yeah. tap-ins, bro. How do you just? Stay yeah, in the box that, and just tap it in. See, but the, okay, but the definition not, of Ballon d'Or is who has no, no, had most goal, goal contributions, right? That, no, 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 that's no, 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 a fucking no, no, golden boot. It's, 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 it's the best player of the year, and also they take but in, isn't the, they take they in all stuff right? like trophies and their sportsmanship and right, stuff like that. But Mbappe didn't win anything, though. Yeah, but if you go by the like, who was the best player? It was Mbappe. He was the second best player at the World Cup, the best player in Liga, and he was. Cracking the best player in the World Cup. No, he, he was, was easily he, the best player he, in the World Cup. He, he, goes, Dude, he, he goes there against he, Morocco. It was 60th minute. He was like, "Let's switch it up." Yeah, he, was, he goes there for 70 minutes. Is that no? Fine? He was resting. <laughs> <laughs> you can't win with these guys. <laughs> It's about work efficiency. Yeah, no, work efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> he was not. He was not in the Narayan. He's like, "I'm not doing 70 hours this week." He chill for 70 minutes and bam. Wait, isn't he as old as you? How old is he? Mbappe? No, yeah. he's 25. And you know, other thing about Messi is like. you can make sense of why he hasn't achieved as much as he could have for example there's an interview a podcast where kevin prince boateng goes up and he's like in the first leg of the champions league in liverpool when they when barca played against liverpool when the coach is talking to the players before the game messi is on the phone face what do you do he scored a banging free kick he scored twice he set up dembele who should have scored yeah. he set up suarez then, who should have yes, scored no so he set those players so, up who so missed their the chances yes or no i would have nothing against messi when Things are going well. He's incredible. He's amazing. He was he the was, moment. Sharon, the moment Sharon. things are not going well. Sharon, do you not, do you not remember? Do you not remember the game? Do you not remember the game? Camera leg. bobo. Camera Wait, bobo. Okay, camera bobo. All, second leg. He set up Jordi Alba. He set up Suarez. He set up Coutinho. All of them missed their shots. And what do you mean when things don't go Bro, well? Ronaldo, Argentina's Argentina's on the brink. Ronaldo sets up and then he shouts at this. 
Argentina is on, so Argentina's on the brink of getting eliminated. He scores a banging goal from 30 yards out against Mexico. They blow a 2-0 lead to go 2-2. He sets up Lotaro who misses his chance. Then he makes a 3-2. Bro, Messi <laughs> does not disappoint. That's why I feel like Argentina is a great team though. Yeah. yeah. They really yeah. are. Bro, no one was saying this before the Copa America. No one was saying this before Copa America. But now you're saying it. The fact that Messi <laughs> has done so well with them, now people's excuse are they're such a good team. They're such a great team. Okay, speaking about Ronaldo and Messi who will never be friends. <laughs> you guys used to watch Friends? Oh, oh my god. Uh, it was a good time. I mean, I don't... Rip. I think everyone's seen a couple of episodes of Friends. It's yeah. so universal. I feel like it's the best so... show to like play in the background when you're clapping. Clapping? I was going to say eating. But... <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like... I mean, I guess you guys are too young. I don't know. I grew up watching Friends. Who's your so... favorite character? It used to be Chandler. Joey? I cried when I opened my... Uh, Instagram and I saw the first post I cried I legit cried like my favorite character was Joey I don't know for me it was always Chandler and even like couple wise right a lot of people were like oh Ross and Rachel their romance was so beautiful and it's got all the elements of a quintessential like exciting romance but for me it was always Chandler and Monica I, for me it was always Ross and Monica yeah <laughs> <laughs> Ross and Monica yeah, brother boys, and sister. Sweet home <laughs> home. Oh, wow. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I was so like upset to read. I yeah, I mean I I like Friends. It's not my favorite show. I mean but it's not my I favorite saw, show. When but I saw the fact that in the news came out that he passed away, it was really it's sad. It's crazy because you can sort of through the show you can see them age. Yeah, That's you can see them part. age and then so, you can see some of their old interviews and he's so funny in them. But yeah. now and, like, he's like slower. No, and, and he was naturally funny. I mean, no, but like recently oh, okay. in, his, in his interviews, he's like very slow. He's like, it's like he has uh, an onset of like either Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or some. I mean, he so was he still was only 50, anyway, right? 54, 54, 54, but he was, yeah, but he he was, was struggling with, because he was a massive like drug addict, dr- drug a- and alcohol, alcohol addict. Like he apparently in some interviews mentioned that he doesn't even remember three years of filming Friends. And, uh, but I mean, obviously like he's recovered since and he's tried to help people recover which is how he wanted to be even like remembered in the end but I don't know it's just like things have become so real when you see like people you've grown up watching on screen slowly like and there was a post about this like four or five years ago where it was like uh, it's like a picture of uh, the cast of friends and it's like one day one of these people all these people won't be here anymore I was legit dreading this happening like and like when it's happened, it's just like I don't know how to cope. It's probably the most iconic TV show, right? Hundred yeah, percent. Like it, it ran for ten years like and it was always like doing so well. Um, it's not like one season just like sort of fell off, right? There's a yeah, there's a uh, there's an award ceremony. I think it was the Golden Globes. So mm-hmm. it was just Lisa Kudrow. Uh, I think Courtney Cox. Uh, Courtney Cox and uh, Matthew, Matthew Perry. Perry. And Matthew Perry is like oh, the other uh, Jennifer Aniston and uh, what is the other guy's name? David Schwimmer. Yeah, David Schwimmer Matt. couldn't be here because they yeah. and Matt LeBlanc are not here because they're doing publicity for the show. <laughs> because obviously this show needs publicity. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said, and because, thank God for that. Yeah, thank God for that because the show needs publicity. More people <laughs> need to know about this. And that's when they were probably the most famous people in the world. No, and you know what? Uh, like he was naturally a very like witty person. That there are like some episodes where the writers, because they used to obviously while shooting make some dialogue changes and stuff. They used to come to Matthew Perry to figure out oh, what, yeah, to yeah, put put what line to put in the script. Yeah, his interviews are and a lot damn of the funny. episodes are done in front of a live audience. Yeah, yeah. It's also oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a lot, like laugh track is real in some episodes. I thought that show was fake all the time. Can no, you imagine seeing like uh, Ross mean, and Rachel break up in front of like a li- like in front of you. That's insane. Oh my god! But that's a more like. The the thing I remember most about Friends is Mama and Papa used to watch yeah. Friends, and we used to, I, they wouldn't allow me to watch Friends. Yeah, Friends but, was pretty PG though. No, yeah, no, no. When, when I we were young, it was He's, like oh my god. Oh, like yeah. thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe twelve, thirteen, and but you could hear the laughter attack from the other room. Yeah. Like, ha, 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 ha. That's all, that's the first thing I remember about Friends. No, even I, I remember. So my best friend and I, we were around like eight years old. And um, so in Kunur, we used to all go to the Kunur club after school to like play badminton and like sit in the library and read and stuff. Funnily, the library had a TV inside and all the older kids, you know, they were like, 
just about like in 11th or 12th grade or just going to college sort of kids they used to watch friends on the tv and rian my best friend and i used to hide below the sofa set and like sneak watch while they were watching friends like that's when i got into the whole like friends culture but I- i've been like a avid friends fan since wait were they on a break yeah they were on a break so the ross didn't do anything wrong i don't think so so what i always say but my life <laughs> <laughs> but you're on a break even when the other person doesn't know you're on a break so. was it mutual in that situation yeah, yeah they were oh. on a break but then Amateur. ross hooks up and then rachel finds her and rachel like how the fuck could you do that to me yeah we were not on a break women are always lying man hey, coffee cup man, coffee cup relax <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I mean I don't know yeah I It's, think for many people they've just built such a strong connection with that show and you could see that on social media okay, everyone is gonna go next oh no <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> but have you seen no like, like if you saw the, no no if you saw friends and you were wondering like who which of them will die first you're not thinking Matty Perry you're thinking like no I'm no, thinking, thinking Matty Perry anybody thinking Matty Perry what no you're basing it on characters of the show Yeah I'm basically like yeah like everything Just everything dude at 49 that guy had like a colon burst situation oh, and he was Matibari. in a coma yeah so he was oh. always like trying to like, he spent hope, over 7 he, million dollars going, going going second. Second. I hope Joey dies last though I feel like Lisa could roll die last like she is she's got that dog in her <laughs> <laughs> God, um, but have you seen Courtney Cox's Instagram? It's by far the funniest. Yeah, she's <laughs> proper. Account. What like? Influencer. Did they release a statement She about all so this? Funny. Yeah, no, one joint think... statement. Everybody's joint tired. Statement. Everybody's heartbroken. No, I don't think they've all either of no, them. No, it's a joint statement. Up. Yeah, they put up a joint. They put oh, up like, a joint. Oh, they cast. did. Because the oh, the internet was going crazy. They're like, oh my god, none of the cast members have put up Let anything. Let them fucking grief, man. Yeah, I know. No, 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 I don't know no, why. No, 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 no. Uh, so we went for uh, the 2022 World Cup. Um, it was amazing. FIFA. Yeah, we went for both semi-finals, and the thing that blew me away most was that France supporters, Argentina supporters, they couldn't give a shit. Like everyone was just so calm. Like there was chants, there was like no, celebration. No, Argentina supporters were going pretty. Bro, pretty. not like. Not like Kerala Blasters for a fucking but yeah. yeah, it's a whole yeah. thing. I yeah, but in the World Cup, insane. I think in the World Cup, the the supporters who were truly like enjoying and like the chanting Indians. was Morocco. Oh, I thought it was Indians for every team. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about FIFA. India wasn't even there. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean Indians for like that. The yeah, team yeah, they yeah. Support. No, but Morocco was going absolutely berserk. Yeah, in the I World didn't Cup. see a France match, but the Argentina game, I saw the support like you know shirts off, swinging it, chanting the whole game. The that song Muchachos is a banger. Muchachos. Yeah, that's so good. But yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. the Manja Pada thing was. Yeah, we guys we watched a Kerala Blasters game in the Manja Pada stand. The Manja Pada is the yellow army, I the ultras of Kerala Blasters. And we were there last week for the game and I watched the I edited the video. I've never seen you guys having that much fun. It's like it a, it's so like a party but it no was a, yeah, it was so much. I didn't even know half the chance because it was in Malayalam but, but I was just sing singing it. along. Bro. Sha la 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 and they are so creative so the so Kerala Blasters is played against Odisha FC and one of the Odisha FC players uh, like he got injured and he was on the floor and suddenly this the Kerala Blasters fans are singing a lullaby because he's like yeah, <laughs> and making so fun of funny. him when they shoot the ball out yeah, like six yeah, yeah, six yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah from funny. the first minute to the 90th minute they were singing the whole time I don't even think they were game Even before they were yeah, saying, even yeah. oh yeah, like two hours, forty five minutes. Yeah, yeah. 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 The even the Viking clap was so much yeah. fun. Like that whole that experience. Crazy. I feel like I everybody was just like, with both phones. <laughs> yeah, I feel like everybody should experience that. Yeah, it's but in truly, that stand, not in the VVIP or the VIP. Yeah, yeah, bro, the, the VVIP is <laughs> the VVIP is, so is the dead, most bro. boring. It's just like rich people sing. <laughs> they don't even clap. They, they just eat chicken, and they don't know. Which, <laughs> and they don't know which players are who, what, where. No, but I, I don't know. It was truly like I don't think any other football club also in India has such a no. Yeah, fan he, no, one one of the biggest in Asia, I think. Yeah. Easily, and was, the and the go and the matches. I think probably the biggest insane. in Asia. Who has? Yeah, yeah, Saudi. Now that Ronaldo is there, maybe there Saudi is yeah, there. Korea also. Has, there. Korea also. Because now there's like Tottenham uh, Wolves. They yeah, all no, have but, but like, as a club, as a, as club, a club, club. I feel like Kerala Blasters is it. Yeah, uh, I think it's definitely the biggest club in Asia. Have you seen the video of Al Nasser where Brozovic 
yeah 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 and does the, like yeah. they're like chanting stuff and brosvid does this and then flares just go up Ooh. in al nasser stand but you know the thing about the saudi clubs uh, they're not location based so oh. they're just clubs they're established based. So the top four clubs have a lot of support. You saw the T4 of Ronaldo when yeah, he yeah. came. But um, Al Ettifaq, the club Steven Gerrard is managing, since they haven't done historically well or haven't there been funded very well, the there were 650 people attending. And this is a club that has Jordan Henderson, Wijnaldum is playing, Steven Gerrard is managing. There were 700 people no, watching the game. No, but I feel game. like, for example, a team like Al Nasser, like, obviously, it's it's so easy to support them. Ronaldo is playing yeah, for them. But like, Kerala the, Blasters, it's like, the, their passion for the... the state it's pride the city, yeah, it's, it's pride, pride yeah. they feel like it's and their I love own the fact that they didn't base it out of any city they yeah, named it yeah, kerala blasters yeah. cuz the whole of kerala especially northern kerala the amount they travel just to come see the game yeah. and do there are buses from northern it's kerala crazy, yeah people bro. travel like some 800 700 kilometers yeah. to come for this match Man. but i i really want to go for like every game i, I not even record imagine just like winning the i it was bro. honestly <laughs> 90 minutes of intense cardio for me like i checked my apple watch after i had why are you running <laughs> it was insane and the, the, another thing i was watching football matches football matches football <laughs> matches live is that the time just passes like yeah. when it's on tv like it takes a while i feel like like the funny is i'm feeling it right yeah. like funny is this so he's a, such a smart ass he has something to say always he was just stunned he was just like <laughs> like a child yeah, like yeah he was like i don't know what the fuck is going on yeah. and the game as arim was saying the game itself felt like it was sent Dude, from the gods yeah bro. god itself like god <laughs> like hmm, okay first they score then they miss a penalty like, this is the second best match i've seen after the world cup final and that was fixed yeah you're right <laughs> okay Luna might be better than Messi though. <laughs> oh my god, that dude, goal, that second Luna goal, might be better than Messi. I didn't even understand. That was so messy. Oh. Yeah. He, yeah, yeah, that was so messy. No, I was yeah. like he's going to chip it. He's going to fuck it up. He's going to fuck it up. And then it goes in. Uh, he was really good, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and watching Rahul, I was my first time watching Rahul play live. Oh yeah? yeah We saw him once. Awesome. Oh, oh fuck, yeah. he was so close to scoring. Yeah. Yeah. Next time. But the defender put his leg out. Yeah, and he, oh, the, like he pulled off some mad skills also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel the like just he knew he would do it for the block. He did it for the block. He definitely yeah. did it for the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was honestly like top ten experiences for me. Being it was best football game experience. Now. Yeah, easily, <laughs> easily. Yeah, I mean, I, I also really like the World Cup experience, especially what happened prior to our Argentina, Croatia match with you guys wearing the kandura. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I missed the World Cup so much. It's been almost a year, bro. But I don't know. Oh, I yeah. feel like uh, after the Russia World Cup, this World Cup sort of felt like a step below that for me. Why? Because I guess because of the lack of alcohol, people. I don't feel like people were celebrating as much on the streets. Like I feel like we also attended because we were in the end, Dubai, right? right? Yeah. So a lot of the fans just went. Yeah. Back. So apparently uh, the group stage so, was the best time. Yeah. To be yeah. Even in Russia, is, the group stage was the best. Because in yeah. Dubai, it was. R- so much fun because we were watching all the group stage matches in dubai they had these arenas where they were screening the matches and they were managed by i don't know some alcohol companies or like some pubs and stuff and it was insane especially the british the fans, fans were like the fans in doha have alcohol did you guys go to the fans zone no we didn't no, we were supposed to go for the morocco game yeah, 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 yeah. i mean not cuz i drank so, or like, it was so well <laughs> the fans organized was great. like Yeah, like getting in and out of the stadiums was so quick. In Russia, like getting in and out of the stadiums was a mm, pain. Yeah, yes. yeah, the metro system and everything was everything organized. Was, really yeah, well. I think they put and in Russia a lot just, of I mean, money and everything. Yeah, Russia is a smaller it. place, right? Everything yeah, is like everything was. Yeah. Um, and now Saudi has just been confirmed to be hosting 2034. 2034. You know, India is also. Ronaldo is going to be playing that World Cup. That was the Olympics, sorry. Yeah, the Olympics 2030. Huh? No, Ronaldo is going to be playing that World Cup. He will be what 50 then. No, Ronaldo Junior, bro. Oh, oh. <laughs> baby, so <laughs> yeah, you be just. <laughs> but Saudi is taking over sports, man. We've talked about this before. Yeah. But now the World Cup. Too. That's just the pure money. Yeah, sports that's... washing. But, but I don't think it's growing washing. up in the Middle East. I think it's fucking great, bro. Yeah, and most great. of the people going there, I don't know if it's the money talking. They seem to have a fun time as well. Andrew Schultz performed in Abu Dhabi. He said the crowd was great. The everything was done well. I think you're just gonna see. A lot more people visiting the Middle East. I yeah. mean, Kerala is only anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening in the ICC World Cup? The ICC World Cup, India is demolishing everyone, but it just takes one semi final right? to for us. But we're going to crumble us. in the semi final, bro. I can, can you feel not it. bring your Pakistani well, agenda? Cry, here. I can feel oh it. my gosh, how many? I didn't. I I I'm just a skeptical <laughs> fan. You're calling me slurs. <laughs> Wait, what did you call it? Pakistani. <laughs> 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 
Pakistani. <laughs> Dude, in the T20 World Cup, okay, it was India versus Pakistan. <laughs> this he man decided to wear a green T-shirt and come. I it, it didn't even. Cl- I'm not a huge fan of cricket. I didn't even clock. I'm colorblind. <laughs> yeah, Pakistan was going on, and this guy just starts vlogging, saying that I'm a Pakistani fan. I ran with it. I'm like, go, Babar, go. <laughs> you literally go. said your dad's a spy. <laughs> <laughs> then Afghanistan win like a bunch of matches and they yeah, were Afghanistan had like a bad trade win I think Netherlands England. had like a team yeah. that was yeah. it's all yeah. Indians bro it's all Indians no 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 Cricket's not no, no. Sport, Netherlands is full of Dutch people I yeah. swear that I Bad saw India in no there are there are some Indians Blasen. but like, you know there's a there's a player in New Zealand who looks a lot like Sharan his is name it? is Rachin R-A for Rahul Dravid and Chin for Sachin Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, his parents are no, genuinely. Good and he's a really good player. For, for and he's a really good player. Huh? For New Zealand. Yeah. For New Zealand. The guy who looks like Sharda. Yeah. Oh my god, this uh, Dimmer and I were talking about this so much. Like we saw the game, we were like, oh my god, it's Sharda. Yeah, and he's a really good player. You think you think we're winning the whole thing this year? I feel, I feel like, like it. it, yeah. When is the final? November the third week or November twenty first, I think. Where is it? Bombay, Modi Stadium. Bangkade, I think. Bangkade, Modi. I thought they didn't make it in Modi Stadium. Oh, maybe Modi. I don't know. Where is Modi Stadium? Ahmedabad. Gujar. Yeah. yeah. Where do you think it is? No, <laughs> Gujar. No, you should. Man, but speed, I feel like speed came to uh, see the World Cup and shit, and he explored India. That was crazy. He didn't so explore India. Yeah, he exploited India. No, no. <laughs> exploited India. I fucking. What do you mean exploited? Like you know what? I I love speed. I just didn't fuck with the people who he came to fucking create content with. Yeah, that's true. Who did he come to? Who did he create? Okay, except Dalai oh, Vendi. Yeah. I except Dalai Vendi. That Bendy. was that was an iconic moment. But who did he create content with? Toward some just fucking some fucking I creators with like ten million fucking followers. They make trash content. Oh, fuck. should he should have come? To, this is not a vlog. Yeah, you should have bro. been sitting here. This is not a podcast. Dude, imagine Speed and Nisu together. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I feel like Speed. Yeah, she didn't like Speed already. It'd be with one hour of them barking. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like the only person who barks better than Speed is Nisu. Uh, and then um, there was the other video that went viral. It's a bunch of Indian men. They see a dark skinned individual, and they call him Speed. They put the window window down, and they're like, Speed, Speed, hi, Speed. And that video went viral. Speed reacted to it on his Twitch <laughs> and stuff. And then everyone was calling Indians racist. Oh, I mean, we are, we, are we, are racist. Racist. we are we are pretty racist. We are, we are, we are, we are racist. very racist. I remember uh, France semi-final in uh, Moscow. <laughs> At bottom up, they're surrounded by France fans, <laughs> and this guy just says, "Man, N words." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god, Wait, bro. <laughs> I can't tell you." <laughs> Some of me know. No, you don't know. And and I was like, "Bro, we are surrounded by them. <laughs> we're, right we're not safe." He's like, "Yeah, man. If I met one, if I met a dark-skinned person in like an alley, I would feel unsafe. But if it is a white guy, I feel like I could take him." You know who's really, bro. Grandparents are the most unintentionally racist people. Yeah. I no, I feel like they're intentionally racist. Yeah, quite intentional. <laughs> no, so no I, I don't think it's intentional because they were. It, it comes from. It, they've uh, they've grown up in a in a generation where these things were supposed to be like normal. Yeah, and so it wasn't it's not intentional and stuff like. And my yeah. my grandma was the. No, but I I just feel feel so bad. Like, black skin has such like. negative connotation it, and white skin as such positive like you could dude you could be a white guy and you could create whatever fucking videos you want in india and no indian would come and tell you anything because you're just a white guy and we are just conditioned to like and just like white, white people, people yeah. yeah but that's i think it's but if a black guy did it not so much yeah but fuck not up. So as a society we're pretty fucking racist yeah now i now i don't feel I mean, like saying my like funny story man <laughs> <laughs> and just maybe said <laughs> I was gonna I say something funny. Say, say. Now I feel like I'm laughing at racism. <laughs> say, say, say. So my grandma was visiting. Um, this was two months ago, uh, and I was playing FIFA. She was sitting next to me, right? I'm, I'm France. She's already passed like two, three comments about my players being dark skinned, <laughs> just casually. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> Mbappe scores. Okay, he's up in the screen, hitting the gritty, looking at the screen. My grandma looks up, points to the screen, and goes. Nelson Mandela? Oh <laughs> my god. I'm in shock. I'm like, "Huh?" <laughs> Then I'm like, "You could have at least said Pele." <laughs> oh my god. Maybe she's only black and she knows. Yeah, I mean, that was her when she was 40 or her something. Pele, Mandela was going off. <laughs> so yeah, but oh I was just in disbelief. <laughs> Cuz <'Cause> imagine, imagine <laughs> what do you say? No. <laughs> I was like, I I didn't say anything. I didn't correct her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but racism is not cool. No, obviously. but dude, 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 racism bad. <laughs> This I remember 
we were this is during the pandemic so you know how me and amma used to react to netflix shows yeah so initially we what we used to do is we used to go to bombay and we used to shoot it in their studio then we had an episode we needed to shoot which we brought cameras home because it was a pandemic and it was me amma balu and i think gayu we were all at home and we had to record and the netflix people are on call they can hear and see everything which is going on so we were watching reacting to some scary movie i think and there are these there are these people with like really black skin okay i don't know i don't remember exactly which movie it is so so my job is to make amma react right so i'm like who are these people so i wanted to see they're scary like because they were some monster type looking people she goes these and what yeah i'm oh, surprised amma oh, said that i was she's from the hood she's from brooklyn the whole just like we were stunned the netflix people the netflix people were stunned we were stunned amma was just looking like dude i cooked what are you guys talking about <laughs> i gave you content yeah. here you go content <laughs> Dude, I was so scared of that footage that I cut the footage out and I sent it to them. Like I could, I usually send the entire thing and they they edit it for me. Uh, Here I took that part out <laughs> so that it never comes out. <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. It's all unintentional. Like all this activism and all these being politically correct uh, scenarios of. It's very recent. Have, it comes a, now, right? Like, With education. I feel like Indian kids using the N word can be attributed to Pakistan. Maybe? After a match winning performance Wait let him cook let him cook Shahid Afridi <laughs> He's being asked some questions and at the end of it he says he ends it with thanks my n word <laughs> And we my the school my school went nuts and everybody just kept saying it <laughs> Shahid the Afridi actually do this <laughs> Yeah there's actually a video of this What You you didn't know about this I know see No this. I've never seen this <laughs> That's But that's crazy Wait isn't there some And then everybody started using it. But isn't it so Shahid Afridi is the cause for racism? Yeah, <laughs> in India. <laughs> I don't know. If, correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard that there's a rule that if they give you a pass yeah. to use you it, have a pass. <laughs> that you is fake, man. Dude, Stop. dude, it was the most proudest moment of my life. <laughs> the yeah, pass yeah. doesn't exist. So Other people me, don't me know and, you got the me, pass. Me and I didn't have Angolan friends because they they're kids whose dads and moms work in the Angolan embassy, and they live in the same building as us in Russia. and we are really close friends with them i mean when they were in russia so they ch- change after every 3 years so once i was hanging out with his name is steffi so once i was hanging out with steffi and two three other boys and we were walking and then he just puts my his hand on my shoulder and he's like bro you can call me then <laughs> See, but that's him. So you, you can, can only call him. him, right? Not anyone else. Shaun, this is not real. I feel like I feel like he's giving me the golden visa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I no, like, but it doesn't exist. See, at that point, like to Russians, you're all N words. <laughs> like it doesn't matter how light or no, fair. Or, so I had a friend, but he's not. A, he's not Russian, no. That's what I'm saying. Like as a collective, you you can say it, I guess, in that yeah. context. First of yeah. all, for those confused, the N word pass. It's a joke. It doesn't exist. Oh, it's a Please joke. Please don't be Why? like. How are you know? You're not a black guy. I had a friend from Sudan who was my friend from Doha. He gave me the N word pass when George Floyd happened and Black Lives Matter. He called me up. I didn't speak to this guy in months. He called me up just to be like, "Hey, I'm taking the bus back." Wow, because you were abusing it. No, he you were like, abusing that's it. That's yeah, why yeah. he was tri- he was trivializing it by giving the pass out, and he realized yeah. that. So he you took it back. My friend didn't realize that, so I still have the pass. <laughs> <So I lost. laughs> I still have the pass. <laughs> the most racist thing I've been called as an Indian is curry muncher. Curry muncher. Uh, that's yeah. facts, though. Like. Don't I hate curry, bro. What? Yeah. Yeah, I don't munch curry. But it's chicken. Munch is curry. No, bro, I hate curry. Yeah, you can't munch curry. <laughs> it just felt like That's actually mm. incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it tastes better than fucking UK food. So yeah, I think mean, bland food tastes true. better. I feel like than curry. Like, uh, he yeah. he does. He can't like handle spice and yeah. masala and stuff. Mm, white boys, bro. Yeah, he's a total white boy. The white boy, boy pass. <laughs> You're, just, you're just you're just sad that you lost your pass. <laughs> <laughs> you're just, you're you're just have, bitter. You shouldn't have picked up that phone call. Just denied. Schrodinger's N word. I had a friend from South Africa who told me who told me that in South Africa it's mostly Indians that use the N word more than like black people. That's one guy. I don't know if he was lying. <laughs> Why <laughs> South Africa won the rugby world cup? Oh, oh yeah? yeah. No one gives a fuck. Shout out to Darius Lashaba. What? Sorry, he's my South African friend. <laughs> <laughs> you you think player. you only have one friend? Oh, he player. plays rugby. He plays rugby really well. Darius. Dude, rugby is such an awesome sport. American football is so much more no. fun. No, 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 rugby. Dude, you should see more. the South African rugby jersey. Oof. 
Okay man, I'll look into it. Do <laughs> 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 it good. Wrap it up. Okay. Okay. It's a good episode. A little yeah, sad, fun. a little entertaining. And most a little importantly, racist. I'm back. And I'm going to be here. Yeah, guys, in the start of this episode, Fahim spoke for all the episodes he missed out on. <laughs> that was the goal. I kind of miss Nisu. Yeah, I kind of miss Nisu. I miss Nisu also. Nisu has just chilled out. He cracked some good jokes. He laughed at everything. He was overall a positive person. I like this fucking <laughs> know it all. Yeah. We have changed the topic three times again. Narayana Murthy, Narayana Murthy. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. I wanted for him to come back. <laughs> you know what? Next time you we can get, smile now. Show next that time, Next time we get Neeraj on the podcast as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he draws the... <laughs> <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Guys. Why are we shitting on Neeraj for no reason? <laughs> it's fun. Guys, say something nice about me. Life has been kicking You're me in so the ass. You're so pretty. Oh, not me? Okay. <laughs> Talking to the real ones. Okay. <gasps> no. If you miss me, say something nice about me. Okay. So and say something rude about Sharon. Yeah, that's easy, bro. <laughs> Dan, I think without you telling Leave them, it on Reddit. Come. Privilege. <laughs> yeah. Leave it on Reddit. Leave it on Twitter. No, this this episode, they're going to be like, he has never worked a day in his life. How can he talk about 70 workers? 70 oh, yeah. I have said influences. Yeah. <laughs> this episode, I'm getting yeah, hit. Yeah, I'm getting shout else. out for that. No, <laughs> comment down below, guys, who gets hate this episode. <laughs> who deserves the it most hate? Me. Of course, I feel like it's Balu. I'll get hate for speaking so much and not letting you guys speak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for watching this episode. Uh, we'll be... Back. We'll be back next week. I really miss this, guys. I love you. I love you too. Oh. I'm Shout out Darius. Lashaba. You know you mean a lot to me. Lashaba. You too, man. Lashaba. And I'm sad Lashaba. that yeah. you've like replaced me. It's okay, dude. Is it happens in life. No, you haven't. Say you haven't replaced <laughs> I'm not going to attempt. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> We are having an emotional moment here. You Y'all guys are talking about Darius Lashaba. I have been having an emotional moment since the beginning of the show. I was telling her how to say his real name. Lashaba Varma. Khatli so. What? Okay, bye guys. See you guys. Okay, bye guys.